133 days on the market, three separate contracts, yet we still sold for a record sale. How does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. It's because we had a plan. After serving 10 years active duty in the Navy, I learned the value of planning, logistics, and strategy. And to be honest with you, it's no different than real estate. Whenever I meet with sellers, we always talk about plan. It's important to know the buyer avatar for that specific property. Now this listing that we represented, I knew two things about it. One, inventory is extremely slim. Two, the buyer avatar is probably going to be an investor that's purchasing this as a short-term rental. Shortly after listing the property, we captured a buyer. It was a financing buyer, a good offer price, except, well, when the appraisal came in, it came in short and the deal ended up dying. So we went back on the market and quickly after that captured buyer number two. This was a cash buyer, full price offer and a 10 day due diligence period. On paper, it was a brilliant contract. But then we got to day 10 and the buyers wanted to extend their due diligence period to get bids for certain repairs of the house. And the seller said, no, we already knew what they were gonna do. They were gonna get these estimates and then bring it back to the seller and ask for a concession. So we put it back on the market. So now we have two failed contracts and we go back on the market. We decided it would be most strategic to schedule an open house for a couple of reasons. One, stir up some of that buyer activity of those buyers have been standing by, and two, potentially encourage the last buyers that they might have missed out on something and have them come back. And come back they did. So the second buyers that we had under contract decided to come back. They presented another offer that was $15,000 less than their initial offer. Zero day inspection period, closing in a little over a week. So what's the moral of the story? Well, it's important to one, understand your ideal buyer avatar. In this case, we knew it was going to be probably a cash buyer that was focusing on short-term investment property. Two, understanding the market nuances. We knew that there wasn't a lot of inventory like this in this specific area. And three, sticking to your plan. And we did all that. <laughs>